Hello everybody, this is Angelina Divine House. Today I'm here with Katana. Yay! She's a returning guest. If you guys haven't checked out her episode already, make sure to check it out. She has a really good story, but we're here today to just catch up with you. So tell them what you're about, what you're doing, what are you up to these days? Um, well, I've just been working on music, um, trying to design some new merch and just new, new ways to make money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, profit off of the brand. So, but on top of that, new music, two projects on the way. Were you like a school person growing up or, or like? I remember you saying that, that you're a class clown. Oh yeah, I was always trying to be funny in school. I wasn't like a school person, but I was always trying to just make people laugh despite like everything I was going through at that time. Mm -hmm. you know, grade school was like the hardest era of life, having my parents be on, on drugs and just like going through that trauma in the house. So at school I was like, I'm going to be super funny and pretend like everything's Things fine. fine. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't too, too into school, I, I would say. I had a life outside of school. I got friends outside of school, so yeah. <laughs> but anyways, what is this? <laughs> Are we, uh, 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 <laughs> we're using this to dry off the yeah. thing? You are very smart. <laughs> She's this said. is innovation. I was like, really, wait, because like you started talking about something, so I was like, wait, I don't want to open it. <laughs> I'm like, trauma dump, and then you're the opening the pad. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, I need a bigger one. Deep. Just. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Lighter the mood with the pad. <laughs> you know, you know. Okay. You know. Color. Bruh. I was gonna say, what color is the sky? But hold on, I'm gonna just do a blue. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, there's a darker blue. Okay, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. Sherry is caring. <laughs> Sherry is caring. <laughs> let's do the sky. But to those who like don't really know you that well, let's have you break it down. Describe yourself. What would you say your favorite quality about yourself is? Um, perseverance, I would say, is like a really good one. Like, I can literally go through anything. I can get thrown in any situation and feel like I'll always make the best of it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's been shown like a lot in my life. So, probably perseverance, just endurance. And actually, I have it tatted on my face in Japanese. Really? Like, perseverance, endurance, the word gaman. Really? So, I yeah. never, ever, ever noticed that before. I cover it with foundation a lot because it's not professional and you know people like to judge our face tattoos but I was super young when I got it so yeah. I mean at least it has the meaning I and mean, at least you know what it says yeah exactly <laughs> at least I know what it says some people get like like some other shit on their face yeah. my grandma's like a really big um, person in my life for like looking to for inspiration to keep going because she's been through hell and back and then hell again and it's just, mm. I'm just inspired to, to um, not give up on myself and my dreams and, and not just to let myself like sit there and wallow in sadness. She tells me, she's like, you need to erase the whiteboard. Like when something bad happens, just erase it and keep going. Cause if you stay stuck on it, it's gonna, it's gonna eat you up inside. So yeah. The music is therapy and working out. Those are like my two biggest parts of my life. Like if I didn't have the gym and like weightlifting, if I never found weightlifting, I would. You lift? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much I, do you lift? How, how much do I lift? Okay, like, let's see. <laughs> uh, um, for like, like uh, barbell squats, I don't know, like a, like two, like almost 245. It's like I'm almost there. Yeah, free weight. And then, um, uh, Bulgarian split squats, like 45s on either side. Sometimes 50s on a good day. I don't know. Dang. And then, like chest press, I'm pretty low. Like 25 is my max on, like 25 max on the, yeah. That's still yeah. a lot of weight. I could probably <laughs> only do <laughs> five on each. Yeah. I don't want to get too big though. I know it's like a myth, like you don't get big, but mm -hmm. for me, I feel like, I don't know why. I was like shaped like my dad, like low key, like he built muscle really good. So like, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to look like a I don't quarterback. Look like, yeah, <laughs> like a quarterback. I don't want to. I don't want that to happen. I want to look like a girl. So. <laughs> you're chilling. You're chilling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've definitely been in 
like two car accidents one was really bad and then the other one was just like it totaled my car but i was okay kind of like yours mm -hmm. but this this one dislocated my shoulder and it was somebody else driving and they were being stupid driving in the rain really fast trying to show off with me and my homegirl and i was dumb and like wore my seatbelt wrong so when it hit the wall like it was like speeding one of those turns that goes like this Oh. So, and he thought it was like a, like, like a less of a curve. Completely hits the wall. Like he tries to, to yank it when he sees what it is. Mm -hmm. And it's dark and raining. And then it just slams up to the wall. The tire, like marks of spinning are on the so. cement and like the cement wall. And we could have died. Like that's just scary as fuck. Car, car accidents are scary. It doesn't matter how big it is, but oh my God. Yeah. Dude, in that time you were like, <laughs> there's more people that die from car accidents than they do with like planes or like so other cars, transportation. Yeah, cars are dangerous. Cars are <laughs> real. The fact that it's so normalized too. That's why my friends do. They ask me. They're like, Oh, do you? Because I haven't driven since. And they're like, oh, when do you plan to start driving again? And I was like, hmm, passenger princess for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it, though. I like driving because it's like, okay, my that's your thing. My fate is in my hands, too, you know? Yeah. Just, despite it being like a therapy to just drive in and whatever, it's like, at least if I die, it's, it's my fault. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she, she said it. She said it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Did you check on your friend? Was she okay? Everything? She's oh yeah. Cool? We, oh, from the from the accident. Yeah. Oh, oh, we didn't we, finish that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, you did it. All we time. get out. Okay, I get out. I didn't feel anything. I thought I was okay until the next day. I couldn't move. That and next then, day, it hit. and then the guy broke his knee. Oh, and then my homegirl. Um, I forgot something. She fractured something really bad. Ooh. I forgot what it was. Oh, it's already black. But anyway, she fra she fractured something. I don't know what it was. It was like a compound fracture. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot. I don't know if it was like her, her elbow or something, something. I don't know because she went ghost for a little bit after that, which rightfully so. Like, we're all angry in that situation. We're like, why? Like, why did this even happen, you know? Because mm -hmm. so. I got at least... <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. And then the guy was like, oh, I, I don't want y'all to um, to report this or sue me. I'll, I'll give you guys some money. And we're like, bro, we could have, like, he could have died. died. But we didn't, we didn't even do nothing. We just, he gave us, or he gave me, like, 400 bucks just to cover, like, x-ray costs and stuff. But I think that is so stupid. The whole thing was stupid. We never talked to him again. Never time again. Good. Yeah. <laughs> she pr she always told me like to have good friends because mm -hmm. you are who you surround yourself with. So she's like she'd always want to meet my friends to make sure that I wasn't being stupid or so always have good company because you are the company you keep. And um, hmm. she's she's always nice. She's always like been a very sweet person mm -hmm. um, to everyone, doesn't matter who they are or what they do or what they've done to her, you know? It's always just like combating everything with just kindness, even if it's like um, correcting someone for like mistreating you or disrespecting you, it's like just do it out of, do it out of love, everything out of love. That's insane. Yeah. That's a really good lesson, dude. I feel like that's something I've been trying to realize recently because we saw this movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once, mm -hmm. and that was the whole message of the movie. It was like, no matter what you're going through, no matter how bad it is, no matter who the person is, you are your own person and beat it all out with love. Like, basically, at the end of the day, love wins. Yeah. So, but it's really, really, really hard considering like whatever the circumstances may be. It is because some people might not deserve it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, literally, okay, my grandpa's in a home right now because she can't take care of him. She had a stroke in the summer. Mm -hmm. So he's in a home um, and she'll visit him every day even though he used to like beat her ass. Like, yeah, he was very, 
abusive to her and was very abusive to his kids and was like an alcoholic and there's a lot that went into that but um, she still goes and visits him every day when she doesn't have to. Brings him a little like probiotic yogurt, like just goes and sees him, makes sure he's okay. Still loves him regardless. Like he did a lot in, in throughout her life and, and put her through a lot. Um, so yeah, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. And she still shows up and shows him so much love. You would have never thought, you know, that he would have done any of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, third lesson that I learned, um, probably just like save your money. <laughs> she was very big on save your money, don't be stupid. Um, so I definitely got that, got that from her. Like pay yourself first, don't ever, don't ever just spend it on stupid things and mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's another one. Besides, like, the whiteboard lesson. I wanted to do, like, three different ones, but, yeah. She did teach you a lot. She taught me a lot. That was, like, the the my biggest parental figure, honestly, yeah. growing up, so. She sounds like she's a really good one at that. Yeah, she is. I love her so much. Writing from just life experiences yeah. is a therapy for me, so if we can help somebody else, then... Just releasing it then. Yeah. yeah. Like, you guys, if you want to hear a real song, it's like <laughs> real. Uh, you already know what song Dang I'm going to plug them to. Oh, you already know. The Interest of Thoughts. Thoughts. Yes, I swear that's like, because when we first, um, she was our first podcast ever when we started podcasting. And when I was researching her, I didn't know what to expect. And then I saw how you feel. And then you came up with intrusive thoughts. And then I was like, whoa. Intrusive thoughts is a whole different, yeah. from how you feel, a whole different Yeah. Thought. Like, oh, how you feel? Oh, that's how you really that's feel? You, exactly. Oh. And like in the song, too, you get so cocky with it. Or oh, I was out with your best friend, something while you're paying rent, or something like Let's that. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Ah. It's all theoretical, okay, guys? <laughs> Okay. Go about saying how your music is thought honest. <laughs> I know. The most thought song of them all. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> ay, ay, ay. But yeah, no, I love Interest of Thoughts because. And I've actually got a lot of people reaching out for that song because they're like. Really? Yeah, because they're like, you know, it's not talked about like our intrusive thoughts it's the thoughts not. that we we think what we never say mm -hmm. no one I mean it's not talked about so it's not and like I hate that like when people feel like they have to censor what they're feeling yeah. or, or hide who they really are what they're really feeling at that moment I always have you need to have that smile you know what I mean yeah we just need to normalize like normal emotions exactly normalize normal emotions 2024 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Take a mental health break. <laughs> Cry if you want. You right? Know, do what you gotta because I feel like if you give it in, it makes it all that much worse. So that's why when I heard the lyrics in those song in that song, I was, I was like, oh dang, I never heard anything like this. Like you're talking about suicide. Like, <laughs> you know? no, yeah, yeah. damn, damn. Yeah, see, so, exactly. There you go. Normalize. You said normalize. Yeah, it. normalize it. <laughs> normalize it. Not feel, normalize this. But <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, but normalize, normalize like just being open about how you feel because I feel like we all feel like what are we here for what are we doing yeah right? at one point in our life yeah and um that's a scary question it is it's like okay who created us where where are we going with what's this what's the end what's the purpose is there a purpose there's just so many questions about it and, and I read this book called the power of now power and I now. love it because it's just like basically saying that it's all irrelevant like live right now Take this moment for what it is. You can't worry about the future. You can't change the past. Like just be present in the now. And I think that's so, so important. Like to remember, okay, here in this moment, I'm painting, I'm doing an interview. Like this is dope. You know, just like taking it in instead of thinking, okay, after this I have to do. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So. What do you think your purpose is? Haven't figured it out yet. What the, that's a big question. It is. What's your purpose in life? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we um, were just talking about it. I was like, oh, that's okay. I don't know. That's a good question. I feel like my purpose. What do you feel it is now? <sighs> my purpose now is. <sighs> I don't know. I've always been told like I'm. I'm 
in my family specifically, I'm, I'm breaking a lot of barriers. Like I'm breaking the addiction gene. I'm breaking the the um, the diabetic gene. Oh, my whole family is damn near diabetic, bro. <laughs> <She's> so. <laughs> Like, I'm not laughing at that, it's bad. But it's just like, there's a lot of like breaking these generational curses or generational things that are just so normalized and just like changing them for the for the future family, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like that's like my, my purpose that I gave myself, you know? And you always kept a good circle. That's true. And you always kept your head held high. Thank you. You're welcome. And you chase something that is gonna benefit yourself your soul and your happiness. You're not working a nine to five for somebody else. You're exactly. Doing building something. It's okay to work a nine to five, but it is. Are you building like something outside of that too for mm -hmm. your for your future or something that you're investing in, like another asset, you know? I feel like people you're investing get in so yourself. comfortable. Yeah. yeah. People just get comfortable with um with that. Like, okay, I gotta check every two weeks and I'm gonna spend that check and then I'm gonna get it again. And then I'm gonna spend it again. Instead of like thinking about the future, like, okay, I need a retirement fund. I need um, something that's gonna make me passive income, something that's gonna like pay me, like regardless what's going on, you know? So, I don't know, I forgot the question. Your purpose? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you about passive income. Passive income, that's the purpose. <laughs> Finances what 101 with Katana. Right, hello, thank you. <laughs> ah. That's another book that I read was um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So now I'm just like on, on one, like financially, trying to get myself together. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, money isn't anything but a thing. That's true, that is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. It's what? an island Yay. with the sun going down. Break it down. Uh, and you said it was for like... Um, you're, per you're painting your, your future. Your future? Well, for now, okay. So this year, my goal is to get my dual citizenship and be with my grandma on Madeira Island to help take care of her. So this is the this is the island, and then that's the sun, and it's like a little, yeah. So this is like um, a picture of that. That's a picture sweet. of that being like a little near future thing. That's super so sweet. Even to the end of it all, you're all about family. Yeah, I, 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 love, I love my, specifically I love my grandma. She's been there for me regardless what, what's going on in life or, you know, she's fought for me to the end when, um, when my dad had lost full custody of us and just like a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I feel like I want to give back and take care of her the way she took care of me and my brother. So. Yeah. Oh. So, to the island. Wow. Don't look at it again because it's really. It's not. <laughs> it is. It's gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. And I bet she would really appreciate it too because that's deep. It's just a bear with a jacket. I'm trying to. I think it's cute. It's not a bear, but. Let's see. <laughs> What is it? It's not a bear? Uh, no, I'll say what it is right now. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't say sorry. You're good, you're good. Okay, so like, um, it's not a bear, but I tried. It's because I was trying to do it for memory, bro. I don't know what a cheetah looks like. Oh, a cheetah! <laughs> oh, that is, oh, you need spots. Those uh, are the spots. Oh, those are the spots. Anyway. It's cute though. Okay, anyways. it's a cheetah. That is a cheetah. Anyway. That's the most cheetah I've ever seen. Wait, let's give her earring. Oh, cute! Because it's supposed to be you. But, aw, oh, that is cute. We talk a lot, and one of our past conversations, she was saying that she really loves cheetahs. I love cheetahs. Tell them why. Um, cheetahs don't like run in packs, especially like the female cheetahs. They just, they're better on their own. And I feel like that is very, like that resonates with me. Yeah. It's like being very independent and um, yeah, just going after what you need. You got it all covered. You're, you're like, cheetahs are part of yours, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah. They, they take care of themselves. They're good. Independent. Yeah. Creatures. And they're fast. 
So and I super fast. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're the fastest <laughs> edible. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to. That's what I was trying to. But I forgot what a cheetah looked like, so I ended up doing like the head shape of a bear. And then I gave you like a little hoodie. No, but now you say cheetah, I think that's very cute. And then I tried to give you like lashes and like little lippy. Ooh. Yeah, and then some lipstick. earrings cute, and like a little cute. crown. I yeah. love it. That is so cute. It's very self-explanatory. <laughs> I love how you did the background, like, like um, the what is it called? Ombre. Yeah. Like the, the blue. It's yeah. pretty. I didn't know what color to do, but I saw you do blue. So if I'm being honest, I just grabbed blue. But <laughs> the blue looks good though. I the like blue it. looks good too. Good thank job. you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> We are here to hear folks. Make sure to check her, her music out. She has a very cool story. She's a very chill person, as you can tell. And if you want to listen to something real or something just very chill, something to relax to or have a good trip to, then check her music out. All right, so remember, everybody be kind, support each other, and keep hustling. Bye. Thank you.